What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, we'll be looking at how to structure a successful pitch to investors as a fashion brand. If you're an avid viewer of the channel, you'll know that although the fashion industry is an extremely lucrative space, it is a capital intensive one as well. So there's a good amount of risk associated with it. For this reason, creating a winning first impression when it comes to pitching potential investors can be the make it or break it moment of your business. On today's episode, we'll be looking at the eight key ways to structure a successful investor pitch that will show potential investors that you understand what they're looking for, that you can engage them appropriately, and that you can display the confidence necessary to persuade them to take a risk on you. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. When it comes to pitching techniques, let's start off with the basics. Number one is you have to understand what your investors want. Knowing what they're looking for is going to make or break your pitch. So make sure to research your investors, understand what industries that they are currently invested in and understanding their current investments in their portfolio will be a good segue into structuring a pitch that will make sense for them and will give them the confidence to know that you have what they're looking for and that you can be integrated into their portfolio or their investment plan appropriately. Number two, keep it short. Make sure that you're not overwhelming your investors or potential investors with information. Go straight to the main point and help your audience understand what you're looking for in the shortest amount of time possible. If they show the necessary interest, you can actually consider providing them with deeper amounts of information later on down the line. Number three, engage your audience. Instead of just reading out a script, ask your investors some questions to keep them engaged and to keep their attention. Also encourage them to ask their own questions at any time. That way they can make sure that any concerns they have can be immediately addressed on the spot. Number four, make sure at all costs that you avoid templates. Tailor your pitch to your company and your investors' specific interests and needs. Make sure that you're never using a formal script or a script that you've downloaded from some sort of website. This is not going to come off the right way and it's going to seem as ingenuine and inauthentic. Instead, you want to make sure that your pitch is done in a way that is authentic to your brand, that is aligned with your direction and specifically tailored to your specific investors, interests and needs. Number five, make sure at all costs to be extremely clear. Be clear and concise with your ideas and make sure to provide transparent financial information in detail. These can be things like your break even analysis, a month by month cash flow study, or even your balance sheet. This is going to show your investors that you're well prepared, that you know what you're talking about, and at the same time, it's going to give them the information necessary to make an educated and confident decision in whether or not to invest in your business. Number six, be realistic. Yes, it is beyond important to be ambitious, but don't get carried away with superfluous dreams and aspirations. It's important to show that you're grounded, present a business plan that is supported by facts and data, these can be things like a projected cash flow, a growth plan, and how you intend to repay them on their original investment and a potential ROI on that investment. You can consider including store orders to show that you have consistent and sizable interest from retailers. Number seven, make sure to be prepared before any investor will commit to funding your business idea. You're going to have to go through a thorough investigation of your plan and your business strategy. They're going to test your team's capabilities when it comes to design and business management. So make sure you have the necessary answers to the difficult questions that are going to arise. Also, make sure you have a backup plan for the worst case scenario. 
This is going to show that you're well prepared for the different situations that inevitably arise when it comes to running any business and that you're capable of tackling the many problems that you're going to face. Number eight, be confident. Potential investors are going to ask you questions that are going to challenge you. They're designed to challenge you. Do not panic or show a lack of confidence or a doubt in yourself. Believe in what you've created. Believe in your ability to take the business where it needs to go to expand into the larger markets. This confidence is going to exude in every word that you say and is going to give this intangible energy that is going to actually convince or persuade these investors to believe in your idea and to roll with it. By now, you should have a much better understanding of how to structure a successful pitch to investors. There's eight key techniques that we went over in this episode, all designed to help you create an elaborate pitch that is concise, that shows your confidence in your brand, and that provides your investors with the necessary information and transparency they need to make an educated decision on your company. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you wanna see more content like this, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We put out great content on a week to week basis, pretty much every Wednesday and Sunday. We haven't missed a beat in over two years. So definitely join us along for the ride. You won't regret it. Again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Fit Design TV. Until next week's episode, stay awesome.